How's it going everyone? Uh, Atomic Deity here. I just wanted to make a quick update video because I know a lot of you are very curious as to the whereabouts of Fate Grand Order Abridged, Episode 0, Episode 1, and so forth. And the good news is, we're not cancelled. Uh, I, I know a lot of you have been worried about that, and don't worry, we're not cancelling. I have been very busy. You know, my entire life has been very chaotic ever since the beginning of 2020 and up all the way up until now, so I'm only just now starting to get the opportunity to properly work on this project. So, until the full episode is released, which I'm not going to give any release dates because I don't want to put any pressure on myself or put any expectations out there, until the full episode is released, I will let you enjoy the first six and a half minutes. And I'm very proud of all this, you know, a lot of editing went into this, and the cast did an amazing job, a stellar job. You know, again, very thankful to all of you. You did amazing. Um, so, yes, I do hope you enjoy. Oh, and one more thing. It's still 50% off. <laughs> I was sliding into those Kohai DMs, of course. Um, about that. I've been meaning to tell you. Mash's lifespan? Her time is almost up. Very funny, Doc. Vitska, I... This is just another one of your pranks, right? It's okay. You can drop the act, man. I wasn't joking. Tell me this is just another one of your stupid puns. Vitska! There's no way! She can't be! She is. She only has around a month and a half before most of her core functionality goes dark. I'm sorry. But this is the way it is. Not even the Holy Grail can save her. What the hell were you thinking? He's her closest friend. He deserved to know. Yeah, sure, but you didn't have to traumatize the kid. He's barely gotten any rest. He's on the verge of a heart attack every time he wakes up, probably from some twisted nightmares you gave him. He is in absolutely no condition to ray shift. There was no other way to tell him that wouldn't affect him so drastically. You are the current acting director of Chaldea. What do you intend to do about this? Calculations are almost complete, and we ray shift tomorrow. I'll... Figure it out. I know it must be hard on him. Hell, it was hard for me too, before and after I got here. My genius intuition is telling me that you're about to tell me your whole life story. <laughs> you're not wrong. As always. Go ahead, we don't have all day. From the moment I was born, I always felt like there was something wrong. Like, the world was in danger. No, not midlife crisis danger, real danger. I traveled the world, seeking answers. I studied in different medical fields, and tried to help in any way I could. I wanted to save lives. Eventually, I came to the realization that it was completely pointless. That my aid wasn't going to change a damn thing. Because the world never changes. It doesn't matter where or when, there will always be conflict. Death. Murder. War. All throughout history, these aspects of humanity have never changed.
So, what you gonna do now, kid? You got nothing left. I know. Can you teach me how to kill? Teach you how to kill? Some people grow up wishing they could be heroes of justice. Thinking that they can save the world. Eventually, their ideals burn to the ground and the world around them crumbles. Not long after my travels, I heard word of a security organization called Chaldea. So I tested my luck, and tried to arrange a meeting with the head of the organization. Animosphere Marsberry. I had a gut feeling that if I wanted to make a difference, he would show me how. I was quite fortunate. Apparently, he wanted to meet me. He treated it like getting in touch with an old friend. You have a visitor, sir. You may come in. I've been eager to meet you, Mr. Archiman. Thank you. I am deeply honored that you have agreed to speak with me. I'm honored to finally be graced by your presence. I've done some research. You have an interesting history, and you're quite talented, not to mention your PhD in cardiology. Take a seat, Romani. I'm flattered that you have taken this much of a liking towards me, Mr. Animosphere. Of course I've taken a liking towards you. Someone with talent like yours is always welcome to join Caldea. And please, there's no need to be so formal with me. Forgive me, is there another name that you'd prefer I call you then? Call me Mars. That's what all my friends call me. Does that mean you consider me as your friend? It does. I've already handled most of your paperwork. It is my pleasure to officially welcome you to Caldea. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I promise, I won't let you down, Mars. And so, I officially joined Caldea. Okay, it's time for Dr. Me to do Dr. Things. <laughs>